The sun, our life giver, is eating itself alive. But, is this endless? Deep inside, it's a nuclear furnace. Every second, hydrogen atoms collide, fuse, and turn into helium, releasing unimaginable energy. This process is called nuclear fusion. It's what lights up our skies. But here's the catch. The sun is using its hydrogen, and once it runs out, no more fuel, no more light. Right now, the sun is about halfway through its hydrogen fuel. Scientists estimate it has about 5 billion years left before it runs out of hydrogen. But when it does, something explosive happens. The sun will expand to a red giant. It will swallow Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. Imagine a fiery hellscape, oceans evaporating, atmosphere stripped away. After this the sun will shed its outer layers, forming a planetary nebula, and what's left will be a white dwarf, a dim, fading ember. Earth? It will either be consumed or freeze into an uninhabitable frozen wasteland. The sun is a star, and like all stars, it dies. Just not yet. We're in the middle of its life cycle. Five billion years might sound like a long time, but in the grand scale of the universe, it's a blink. The sun has given us everything. Energy, life, warmth, light. But one day this life will flicker out. The question is, will we make it past the sun's final days? So, is the sun eating itself alive and, yeah. But as it consumes its hydrogen, it's also giving us the gift of life. The sun will die, but we have time. Will we use it wisely? Because we're all part of this cosmic journey.